Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bashir again with another short video. We made the latest to the oldest of Kamen Rider, Super Sentai Anime and Kamen Book to Review. This week we're going to be doing a movie figure review, Pacific Rim, and that's Kaiju Trespasser. If I'm pronouncing it right, I'm wrong, I'm sorry again. Now, I really love this movie. I, lo I know there's a lot of people who didn't like it. I'm one of those few who love it because I'm a fanatic when it comes to giant freaking creatures destroying the city and then to add it, giant freaking robots defending the city but they're also kind of destroying it at the same time. <laughs> and I've been, I love this stuff since Godzilla time, since I watched Gamera, uh, uh, what is it, Monster Zero. All this other crazy stuff I used to see when I was a kid, and I loved it when Pacific Rim came out. Like I said, I'm one of those few who loved the movie. So, uh, I got, um, this is actually my first ever, uh, Pacific Rim figure, and I'm quite excited because the figures, they've been out for a while already, but they've been so expensive and so hard, and I know Toshiro was one of the main stores that sells them. Other than that, you have to look at, a. Sometimes an anime store will probably have them. Uh, usually comic book shops. Not all, but the ones that usually sell figures have them. But they do price them up a little bit more there. I have seen them at conventions. Oh my gosh. And conventions, they're war they're like 40, 50 bucks a piece. And that's just ridiculous. I will not get it for that price. Uh, I got my... I finally found one at Tudoros. And the funny thing was I wasn't even trying to look. I was just killing time. And I went on Saturday morning, not knowing that Saturday morning for us nerdy people or hotaku people, anyone who's geeky wants to find the good stuff, the you know the Easter eggs, the treasures, that's when you should go. Saturday mornings, right when the place opens, and that's what I did. I went there in the morning, just killing time before my girlfriend got out of her job, and boom, <laughs> I found it there. I found a bunch of stuff. I, I'm not joking. I found Power Ranger stuff that's really hard to find. I found. Uh, Pacific Rim figures. I found a uh, freaking Godzilla stuff. I went crazy like a little boy just screaming, ah, running back and forth. <laughs> so yeah, and I wasn't the only one. There's a bunch of you know other fanatic collectors. I knew every Saturday morning you should go to your Toys R Us for the good stuff. So yeah, I got very lucky. And the first one I saw, I got this because I seen the other figures, the one with there's this kind of like a hammer looking one kaiju, and I seen that one more. I have not seen this one that many at any store. So. I went for it. Um, so if you want to get this online, you can still get it for twenty four bucks. Uh, Toys R Us does sell it too. Uh, sometimes it will say it'll sell on on stock, or sometimes it will say sold out. You will not find this at Toys R Us. If you do, you like I said, you have to be early in the morning Saturdays. Uh, some cons do sell them really cheap, or at least for a really good price. Uh, a few weeks ago, was it a week ago, I went to uh, Long Beach Comic Con and I found it for uh, 20, 20 bucks, tax free, and that was really cool. And so let's get started, let me open this puppy up. Now this figure is really freaking sick, when I mean sick, it's ridiculous, the paint work, the details, the detail work went into the scoping, this figure is awesome. Uh, it's really cool, now articulation on this thing is um, pretty good. The arms don't bend all the way. That's the only, you know, that's the only bump. And they do bend back all the way, but they bend forward and that's it. And then the little ones don't, they only have articulation right here in the shoulders. And then the feet, the feet only bend a certain way, you can see. It does have the hip to, you know, turn back. The tail is cool, it has the inner wires, so you can bend it. And the fingers do bend to, not all the way. They do have, like, you can feel like they can bend, but not quite as much. The head does turn all the way you want it to. The mouth does open up too, so let me zoom in for you. you can see the face a little. Let me put this baby back here. And I call all my figures babies. <laughs> People are like, what? You call your face babies? Yeah, I know. I'm weird. Now I zoomed in for you guys so you guys can see the face. And this thing is really freaking awesome. The, the sculpture went into the face. It's really cool. Just look at this. Look at this thing. It's sick. Look at the eyes. Four eyes. The teeth. Now, these figures remind me so much of the old figures that I used to collect, like Spawn figures, anything. Um, sometimes they'll come out with a pumpkin head. Have you ever seen that movie? The figures, they came out one time with that. A lot of, this figure reminds me of those kind of figures I used to have like in early, late 90s, 2000. I don't know some people who uh, collect this stuff probably know what I'm talking about. But it's kind of reminds me of the same thing. But just the difference now is like they actually added more integration into these figures. And I love that. I love when detail work goes integration. And also both to the, you know, detail and integration together combined. Boom! You get something really freaking awesome. I love that. 
and not all the time you get that and I'm just very happy that I got one so like I said this is my first uh, Pacific Men figure and I'm quite excited I hope I get my the really one I really want to get is Eureka I know that one is very hard to find if not I want to get Gypsy Danger and uh so I hope I get those like uh, I am going to Long, Long Beach I'm going to Comic Con this summer so I'll we'll see if I find the figures there I know they are going to come out with a Comic Con exclusive three figure pack um, black and I think it's going to be black and silver colors and it's going to have the brand Comic Con exclusive so uh, I'll see if I find out if I find out if I don't, if I don't I don't I'm fine with that <laughs> if I do or do not but uh, I would like to get a you know like I said Gypsy Danger well Gypsy Danger or Eureka or any of the other uh, figures from Pacific Rim. So this is it for my figure. I am. I did order. Um, after I post this video, uh, I am. I ordered a a, a new uh, Super Sentai uh, Tokyo Changer Morpher pin much, and it should be coming in a few days. So uh, when I get that, we'll post a video about it. And so again, thank you. This is Mr. Bushido signing out at K Rider Geek Nation News. We bring the latest to the audience of Kamen Rider, Super Sentai Anime, and Comic Book Toby View. Goodbye, you two. Well.